Hello, and welcome to Crypto Exposed. Ripple's XRP, Stellar's XLM, and IOTA, the only cryptos to unlock swift integration in the billion dollar market. So, very interesting article here, it's definitely attracted my attention so far. So let's get into the article so we can see what they've got to say. XRP, XLM, and IOTA, are the free cryptos with ready-to-use technology for payments. The technological advance has positioned these coins as the favourites to harness SWIFT in the new markets. Ripple and its native coin XRP, Stellar Lumens in brackets XLM, and IOTA have all unlocked the ability to integrate with SWIFT, the global financial messaging network that facilitates international transactions for banks. This achievement puts these cryptocurrencies in a position within the industry with the potential to disrupt traditional banking systems and offers faster, cheaper and more efficient alternative transaction methods. Likewise, these digital currencies have formed partnerships with major players in the industry, including banks and financial institutions, which has helped to further boost their credibility and adoption. As a result, they are now well positioned to compete against traditional banking systems and drive innovation in the financial industry. Ripple, IOTA and Stellar partner with SWIFT under ISO 222 regulation. Recall that in April it was announced that Ripple, IOTA and Stellar Lumen are in line to work with SWIFT under the ISO 222 regulation, a single standardization approach meant to be used by all financial standards initiatives. Ripple has been part of the standard body since May 2020. Of the three, Ripple's XRP has had the most success in its efforts to partner with traditional financial institutions. Its technology allows for real-time settlement of cross-border payments, offering a much faster and more cost-effective alternative to traditional methods. Earlier this month, Ripple and XRP announced their massive push into the billion dollar Dubai and Middle East and North Africa in brackets MENA markets, signalling its determination to succeed as a foremost blockchain payments firm. Stellar's XLM takes a slightly different approach, positioning itself as a platform for decentralised financial services. It aims to provide banking services to the unbanked and underbanked population in developing countries, offering low cost financial transactions through its network. Stella has already partnered with IBM to develop blockchain-based solutions for the global financial industry, further cementing its position as a potential disruptor. IOTA, on the other hand, offers a unique solution to the problem of scalability within blockchain technology. Its protocol allows for secure, fearless transactions between devices on the Internet of Things, in brackets IoT, paving the way for a new era of machine-to-machine -machine transactions. Overall, as the free cryptocurrencies continue to gain traction and secure partnerships with major players in the financial industry, it will be interesting to see how they reshape the landscape of finance in years to come. ISO 222 reshaped the trade finance ecosystem. The majority of cross-border payment traffic is attributed to open account trade, implementing the ISO 222 standard for payments will indirectly benefit trade as well. While banks and corporates are currently transitioning to generating and processing ISO 222 messages for payments, this change will also impact the trade finance ecosystem. This will immediately affect the payment and reconciliation process for different trades between imports and exporters. Adopting the ISO 222 standard for payments creates a universal language worldwide and blockchain firms are doing all they can to leverage this allowance. Adopting the ISO 222 standard for payments creates a universal language worldwide and blockchain firms are doing all they can to leverage this allowance. This standardization, alongside the benefits of blockchain technology, will allow for more efficient end-to-end -end payment and trade finance flow, reduce costs and streamline letter of credit and guarantee processes. Additionally, shifting towards paperless transaction processing will speed up document discrepancy handling. Okay. So, good article here, really. Uh, just one thing I do just want to point out where it says um, ISO 222 regulation. It, it wasn't really a regulation. It is just a messaging standard that they just wanted everybody to adopt just so that basically they're all on the same page. Um, so, it, it just basically makes it easier, right? When you've only got like some banks that are u utilizing ISO 222 and some banks that are not. It makes it difficult because 
not everyone's on the same page this way we're all using the same thing it's easy for everyone to just adopt over to it rather than some people using it and some people not which creates confusion and also i will say like it says here about them using swift i i just want to say this like i i don't really see exactly where they were saying about this you know partnering with swift i'm not sure if it's exactly clear just from the article but um i don't know if they're saying it because of the iso 202 migration now i will just say this if if that's the case um it isn't really just xrp xlm and iota who've been able to migrate over to iso there are other cryptocurrencies so when the iso 222 migration happened what that did was it actually allowed for cryptocurrencies to now have a price index basically so if you're making a payment using a cryptocurrency now that's now available through the iso 222 standard so for example when you're using a payment with for example just dollars the uh, code for it is usd right if you're doing in pounds it's gbp if you're using um, xrp it's obviously xrp if you're using stellar lumens it's xlm so a lot of cryptocurrencies was then given their basically three digit identifier code to be able to utilize cryptocurrencies to make payments and it wasn't just those three that was actually put in as available to use there were many cryptocurrencies that were given identifier codes but i do understand what they mean in terms of xlm xrp iota being benefactors in regards to this because they've already been utilizing the iso 222 uh, standard so this is something that they've already been able to benefit from a long time so this is where they will basically have like an early adopter advantage so you know I, I definitely agree with the article overall there's just a few little things there that i felt that needed to be cleared up but overall yeah i definitely agree that this is positive for xrp xlm and iota i'm not so well versed with iota i'll be completely honest but i have definitely heard of them and the things that i have heard about iota have been positive it's just not a crypto that i've personally delved into too much myself but yeah i mean just going by the article what you know it all sounds positive to me it said why they could uh be a strong proponent in regards to these changes these changes and it says why these free cryptos will obviously be disruptors in the financial market which you know i, I definitely can tell with xrp I'm, I'm very well researched in xrp and this is definitely their wheelhouse uh, in regards to you know cross-border payments and stuff like that so i can understand that point 100 percent xlm is very similar to xrp to be completely honest they're just attracting a different market that's basically it. one of the uh, creators of xlm was actually originally one of the creators of xrp so you know they've actually just pretty much taken the xrp uh, source code and just basically modified it and created xlm off of the back of that so they are very similar in that sense um but yeah i definitely agree with the um, article overall this is definitely positive news to see uh, but what do you guys think do you think that this news is definitely going to be good news for these free cryptos or do you not really think that means anything for these free cryptos do you think that doesn't really make a difference and it's not really going to have a huge impact on their price long term let me know your thoughts guys i'd be interested to hear thank you very much for watching this if you did like it please remember to drop a comment like and subscribe but until next time take care